New tonight, an exclusive look at the efforts Tennessee Highway Patrol is making to increase its presence in Memphis and Shelby County. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. The city asked for help and they're getting it. WREG's Bria Jones joins us now live after riding along with a trooper to see what's being done to make the streets safer. What did you see and you hear out there, Bria? You're our eyes and ears tonight. Well, Greg and Steph, so far we know that 55 people have been killed in crashes on Shelby County roads so far this year. Now today, I got a first-hand look at how Tennessee Highway Patrol plans to protect people on the road. We're on the road and in the car with Trooper Devontae Quinn for an exclusive ride along. Right now, we normally try to map out uh, where we're seeing the most crashes uh, and, and try to even high crime areas. We try to assist uh, MPD. Typically, he says troopers cruise hot spots along I-40 and I-240, keeping an eye out for reckless and distracted drivers. Here, a trooper pulled over someone for expired tags, a common sight in the Bluff City. They were given a warning for the tags in not having insurance and issued citations for a seatbelt violation. Then minutes later, another driver was cited, this time for violating the hands-free law. Troopers are also focused on speeders. The fastest I've seen, so I've actually had someone stop was 130 miles per hour. Uh, guy, he was on his phone uh, traveling to Memphis. That shouldn't be tolerated on the interstates because uh, he's not only a hazard to himself, but he's a hazard to everybody that's on the interstate at that point. So the Tennessee Highway Patrol is out in full force. We're re really just trying to uh, cut down on our distracted drivers and fatalities and make the roadways overall safer. Last year, 246 people were killed on Shelby County roads. In an effort to make the county safer, THP is boosting its presence by adding additional troopers to the area. 44, 23. And with interstate shootings being a top concern for many, Trooper Quinn says many residents are already reporting they feel safer with more law enforcement patrolling. Citizens, uh, they see us out when we're out and they, they have noticing crime trying to change a little bit. Governor Lee is requesting another 100 new trooper positions across the state in the upcoming budget. No, last year, the state increased the trooper pay scale by 4% as an incentive to join the force. Now, currently, THP is hiring statewide. To find more information, you can go to our website, WREG.com. For now, reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3.